Hey there. You know what I love? I love armor. I think it's pretty, it's shiny. It makes my bird brain happy. You know what I don't like? Putting it on. I don't like putting it on. I don't like wearing it. <laughs> it's tedious, it's a pain in my ass. I can't raise my arms, I can't do anything. It's stabbing me right now. <laughs> but it's so pretty, I really like it. You know what else I like? I like nightcore and I like cottagecore. So this week, we're putting those two things together. We're, we're smooshing them. We're making them kiss. I don't know. It's really hard for me to film intros. <laughs> I'm also gonna take this off. This is so annoying. <laughs> so if you cannot tell from the thumbnail or the title, I'm going to be making an armored corset. I know what you're thinking. Forging? Justine? The girl who cuts herself on paper and bread ties? Oh. No, I'm not forging. We are going to be using canvas. Just like plain old canvas, the kind of stuff that you create your own canvases to paint on. You stretch it, stick it. I don't know what those noises are to indicate. I'm gonna take this off. I can't think. It takes me like, this is like the sixth try. I tried to film this intro. Today I cozied up with an audiobook and whipped up this little design here. I'd say I stuck with about 90% of the original concept. I have the bodice that I actually just based my new pattern on that I made for myself for the corset itself. Um, so as per usual, I don't like doing mock-ups. So I'm going to actually cut out this bodice pattern from the muslin fabric. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> Good. Got plastic. I got mirror effect spray paint. I want to be able to add a little piece, like in the design right here. I want a little piece right about here to the corset. Got my Taylor's chalk here and <laughs> bonjour. And look, I love me a cute outfit, but when it's time to get me wee little gremlin hands on things, nah, son. After figuring out the measurements for the corset, I cut and organized the panels. This is me being totally not frustrated by the creative process. <laughs> and after trying out my poor attempt at a mock-up, oh yeah, struck a pose, baby. It was time to sew it all together, but not without a triumphant goblin streak. All right, so here's the mock-up so far. And by mock-up, I mean the lining because it's good. I like it. I'm not gonna do another. <laughs> this took me forever. This is gonna be awkward, but this goes all the way around, goes a little bit lower for the back. I'm gonna have it lace up in the back and then it's gonna cup around a booba. I'm gonna add the rest of the panels on the side here and then do it all over again for the front with the canvas. And we'll see how that goes. It's days like this that really forced me into a full on guilt trip filled entirely of me telling myself to stretch, damn it! Just 10 minutes! We have Zibadis. Right here is a little curvier, like I wanted it to be in the original design. I just sewed it a little flatter here, but I don't think anybody will notice. Let's boop. Oh yeah, that's gonna be so cute. Yay! <laughs> yes, queen! Okay, so now I'm going to put the boning in and not do what I usually do, which is forget to put the boning in first. And I always go over the seams, because I saw that in a corset video once, and I always think that that's the, f the next step. The next step? Jesus. <laughs> I'm doing good, guys. Doing good. Okay. Let's get the bone again. <laughs> I've got everything cut out for the neck corset. I'm going to be following the instructions because, as you know, I'm not very good with patterns. I've never really used patterns. Patterns. God. <laughs> this is the first thing I was recording today, or I am recording today, and I can't English. I did get something specifically for corset making uh, from a very, very lovely human on Instagram, Eva. A bias tape maker. Huh. I also got for the corset fasteners, because I wanted to be able to have little like circular bits in it. It'll make sense when I show you, but onward. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would. Ah! 
As you can see, Justine needs to take a moment away from her sewing project. After having screwed up in a very stupid newbie sort of way, here we can see Justine in her natural habitat doing air punchies and hitting children. <laughs> can't call it a real break unless she is holding in about a thousand swear words from her buttocks being on fire. Here we have exhibit A but with abs. <laughs> with that headache out of the way, we have the almost finished neck corset. The only issue I had was me sewing the same layer twice, so you know, I'll look for those pesky brain cells later. Okie doker, we've got the neck corset. I know I should have done a mock-up, like I always say I should have, but uh, my neck's a little thinner than this. <laughs> These go in the back here. Get this, I added some extra eyelets right here, just so it would be a little tighter. Another reason why I think I should have done a um, mock-up, I wanted this to come down a little further. <laughs> With this fit, I am getting Major Eddie Redmayne as a sexy old man in space vibes. Ah! <laughs> Take this. I'm trying to follow the tutorial. Doop doop. I am not made to be a tutorial channel. Which end did she put in it? Oh no. I'm gonna cry. This is so cool. Oh, I would have spent hours hours making this. I gotta give it a little guiding hand. It's, it's almost done! That's freaking crazy! Eva! I love you so much. Thank you. This is amazing. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> oh my god. Ta-da! Here she be. I'm going to map out the design on the bodice itself just to see like where I want all those lines to be and all the shading and whatnot. I'm going to do most of the painting I think while it's on the bodice. That way it, you know, stays with the curvature of the, the booba. This is done. I'm going to set it here by the fire. This is pretty cold to the touch. This is a little bit warmer. I just want it to dry a bit faster. It's pretty cold in this cabin, so. And I will check on things in a little bit. I'm gonna put some stuffing here. It's not like I have any stuffing there. Get it? <laughs> the time has finally come. The last few days were only there so I could get to this point. I was correct in thinking that painting would be the fun part. It was beyond satisfying painting all the fake seams of the armor, and though weathering would have been easier with an airbrush, I'm still pretty happy with how everything turned out. Especially the tiny detail work right over here. Like, we fought, we fought, oh, there, there yeah, this, oh, mm. Nom 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 nom, loved it. Oh, this was so fun. When it came to painting those little armored scales, I attempted to trace them out, but gave up real quick. One of my paintbrushes was the exact size I needed for the individual shapes, which led me to paint the base black and just go over everything with the same silver acrylic paint. Now don't at me for this. I took my tiny scissors and pierced holes where I wanted to add the little fasteners. As an extra little safety measure, I took some embroidery thread and sewed it along the backs of the fasteners. That way it was soft to the touch on my bare skin. Of course, life gets to you sometimes, which meant my motivation was lacking. Alas, no matter how annoying life can be, we must press on. I've been uh, sculpting this for like 10 minutes. Thought I was recording. I wasn't. <laughs> Let that dry. I'll be able to add that right before the reveal. We'll glue that BZ on. There we go. Sorry, you couldn't see how I sculpted it. Uh, it was mainly with tweezers. <laughs> just went around and boop boop. After that was set out to dry, I added a few final touches to the corset, like these little rings on the hips. My thought was that I could wind belts through them or hang wee pouches filled with potion ingredients. With those final touches done, we're ready for the reveal.
It's done. <laughs> Look at it. Dude. Probably one of my favorite projects yet. I know every time I do a new project, I'm like, this is my favorite project I've done, but this is so cute. I don't have a lot of complaints with it. I mean, little things happen, like the pearls broke off. I was like raising my arms halfway through the photo shoot, so I like twist them together, but apart from that, I think the boobs are a little funky, how it folds. I just, I'm really happy with it. I am very, very happy with the painted seams. I didn't really, I don't know if I got to show the back too much. The reveal. Something we got back. The painted seams are so pretty. They look like actual seams and armor. I am pumped. I'm super happy. I'm genuinely looking forward to the next project. I'm not tired from this project. I'm not fed up with sewing or anything. I'm really, really excited to get to the next one. It's gonna be a lot of gluing, a lot of detail work. If you are interested in knowing what that project is. I have, and I know this is a smooth transition, started a Patreon. Patreon. And on that Patreon, I'm doing stuff like this, but like you're gonna know ahead of time and you get to vote on things. The next project is what everybody voted on, but I knew I could get this done a little faster. So got this and the project that everybody voted on is going to be coming up next. And if you want to know what that is, it's the Patreon. But in the meantime, if you do not, I Hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy watching me scramble and fail and get frustrated and be happy with my projects. And I hope that I can just be a little pal that you throw on in the background while you craft. That's what I like to do with the creators that I like. I like to put them on and just kind of feel a little inspired. Uh, gem update. We are still dealing with some dumb stuff, but we've got the shell of it. Like it's all, it's built, it's constructed. We just need to get the guts. Just gotta like add the organs. It's totally not anywhere near finished, but we at least have walls and a roof. It's freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> See, look, there's a door. Also wanted to thank yet again, Eva for the bias tape maker. That was so beyond helpful and will continue to be crazy, crazy helpful for me with my future projects. I cannot thank you enough for sending that to me. And for everybody who's been sending me stuff in my PO box, it means the world to me. But I love you guys and I appreciate you. That just, it means so much to me. It makes my little heart. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Can't end videos. But wait, we have bloopers. Why are you a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Hold that squat. Hold that squat. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>